headed down to a little creek. We're going to head out and try and find some tracks. And uh, we keep meeting these obstacles. So we just have to go over this kind of? There's another one right after it. Right after this, there's another one? Yeah. The creek bed is dry, but it's got junk in it. Oh. Okay, everybody's coughing. I think it's pollen. It is. So what do we do, gang? Does it? Does the trail carry on? It does, yeah. but there's another stack there's of There's another these. one just like this. Like, is there? It's 50 feet ahead of us. So you're going to have to break open the bushes. Right. Still climb through this. Right. And then maybe there's a trail on the other side. Yeah. We, we are close. We go this way, this yeah. down here. Did you go that way? Yeah, we could. We could go. Oh, look at this tiger. That nothing. You know, from a very little place up there, you have hard rock. You have glaciation and maybe the. Sorry, I'm just trying to get some video. There's some. Yeah. Probably not, just... No, no, just <clears throat> Here's some soft areas though. Like up here, we can look for tracks along here. Oh, here, I have something for you. You're welcome. Oh. Is it a wee bed? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It's a weed. It's a weed. <laughs> it's a weed. <laughs> Any tracks anywhere? Mm -hmm. It is a small one. Oh yeah, it is. Look at that. It's um... Yeah. We should have one of those track cards that Steve put in the kits he made up. Well, it looks like maybe two, like this could have been an old deer. Yeah. And this one's a little bit bigger, but. One of those looks like a shoe print. Shoe? Like a small shoe? Well, I mean, did you 
resembles yeah, it, whether yeah. it is or not. It, it's just that it resembles it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be you know, something. And it's not new. It could be those famous little people yeah. that we're known for, that we often overlook. What do you got, Linz? Ooh, that's good. Steve. Here's a here's a nice one up here. That's an impression here. Put your foot next to it there without you know caving it in. Yeah, you can see a sort of an impression there. It's not very big. Hey guys, look at this one. When you come up here. <clears throat> Let's go past and show them. Oh my gosh! Damn, it was a frog. What? It, it, it jumped, it hit my leg. The frog jumped, hit my leg. There he is, I see him. Yeah, he, he ran into my leg. Where is it? He's in the, under the rock there. There's a big one too. Whiskey gather. Do you see this, guys, here? Look. That's an impression of some sort. Again, it could be human since we're here. You can't, you know, tell what it is. It does look the you know, like I said, it's pushed yeah, up and it's definitely an imprint of something. There's an impact to the ground. But we don't know, it could be a person. Ooh, this feels good down here, it's cool. I'm gonna look over there. Go over that way. CBC tracks. Seriously. Look for tracks in there. They thought, you know, they used to take this kind of or whatever, but not anymore. It's so you know, So later in life, I think, you know, I wish I could have talked to those elders back then yeah. and got their, got their take on it, got yeah. their, what, what, what was, what were you told? And now, of course, those people are gone. <laughs> okay. The question is, why do you do this? I've always heard them late at night, early morning, and i never seen one. It's my hopes to see evidence and possibly see one. Yeah. We're glad you're here We're joining glad us. I'm glad to be here. And so, why do you do this? Oh, um, so I know my time, this is going to get a little deep, but my time here is pretty finite, right? When you look in the general scheme of things. So, there's, I'd love to explore. Um, I want to explore more than this earth but I know that's not going to happen. So now that I've met enough people, and I think there's enough evidence to prove that there's something else on this earth than us, I would like to be a part of that. Oh, that's great. That's pretty much it. And you've never seen one? Never. Not nope. yet? Never seen one. But hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. All right. And you, you've seen one. I've seen one. Here. Here. Which is on our YouTube channel. So yeah. I'll put the link in the comments to your sighting here. But why do you do this? Why did you start before your sighting? I actually started because I have a friend in the military who uh, saw one from um, uh, a marine helicopter. And he was only like 100 foot up. And when he told me his story, he was shaken. And this was over 50 years ago. And I had it. He's extremely trustworthy. I, mm -hmm. I've got to find my own. So 
So he came out here and yeah. with the help of a lot of really good people teaching me what to do, yeah. um, keeps me back. Yeah. Um, you know, when you know somebody that's very credible, like Joe Blue, your, your gentleman, you know their integrity. Yeah. And, you know, they wouldn't lie. Um, their, their intellect, you know that. So a lot of people, I hear that, they meet somebody and it kind of sells them on the, ex yep. you know, possibility of Bigfoot. So, and so why do you, what do you, why do you do this? Uh, I'm looking for the experience of just, you know, seeing a Bigfoot, uh, if I, you know, if I have the opportunity um, or having some other kind of encounter, but uh, I just think, you know, I'm, I'm basically seeking out the truth. And uh, I had an experience in 1993, a Bigfoot walked into a campsite uh, where my father, a friend of his and I were, were sleeping in a tent at 5.30 in the morning on an island up in uh, a lake in Canada. And um, we never figured out uh, who it was that walked in and then walked out of our campsite that morning. And, um, uh, you know, so I kind of like to uh, have an experience of seeing a Bigfoot possible. And when it walked in your campsite, did your father see it? None of us saw it. We, the, the tent was zipped up. As soon as we stopped hearing the footfalls and it walked about two to three feet right next to the tent, you could feel the, the vibration on the ground as it walked by. Uh, walked around our campsite, then walked back out the same path it came in. My dad immediately got up, went around the island and did not see anything. Didn't see anyone canoeing away didn't see anyone swimming away there was no one on the island and it was very dry ground so there were you know there's no way that there were going to be footprints mm -hmm. and of course that you know the light it was just starting to get light and you're thinking to yourself i'm laying there thinking to myself like is this person here to harm us i mean obviously you don't walk into a campsite at 5 30 in the morning and not announce yourself right. on an island you know a tiny yeah. little island in the middle of a massive lake where there's absolutely no one else so and how do you know, you know, I know, it's a long time ago, how did he know it wasn't another animal like a bear or moose? It had the, the cadence of a human being, yeah. and it had the weight of, I would say, a person. It, it, it definitely was not a bear. It, it just, you know, it, 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 sounded, it, it sounded just like a person walking. On two feet. On two feet. Right, I yeah. I, I gotcha. Yeah, you can tell the difference if, you know, you hear something bipedal or a quadruped. So Lindsay, mm -hmm. Lindsay, yes. why do you do this? Oh, I can't even tell you the definitive. There are so many reasons why I do it. Because of me, right? Well, you're one of the reasons I just can't get away from. But <laughs> this, because we're out in nature, like what better reason do you need to be out in the woods if not looking for Bigfoot, what would it be? Yeah. And then all these people, wonderful people that you meet. Mm -hmm. And because I 100% believe there is a Bigfoot multiple out there and similar to Bill, I wanna be a part of that when it, it does break. Mm -hmm. And um, a truth seeker at heart. Mm. So. Yes, you are. Yeah. Awesome. So lots of reasons. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you guys. Uh, I appreciate the little mm -hmm. interviews and. Sure. and branches.
I mean, initially it looks like a nest, but there is a down tree. So the oh, tree, yeah. the tree fell. Just got caught up. Could have got caught, but it. Yep. Debunked. Yeah, that's an old There's well, the rest of it. It's still on the branches. It is neat though, you can see the nest. But yeah, then you look at the down trees. That's coming that way. It's right. So that one yeah. off this one. This is also the one. Yeah. Winds that yeah, must come from where you're headed. Oh, yeah. Like I mean, they're right over that, that line. way. Oh. Yeah, they were this side. So on this trail, we've had four Bigfoot sightings. All nighttime. Well, sorry, one was daytime. Uh, uh, a gentleman and a young man uh, saw a Bigfoot crouch down like a linebacker down this trail. So he saw one was down like a linebacker and it was during the day down the trail right up here is where the one at night went behind them and they all turned around and he got it on therm he didn't record it because it wasn't his thermal but it looked like one spider crawling sprawled out massive went right across belly almost hitting the ground we did a full reenactment it's on our youtube channel you this was just it. last year right this was like one or two years this ago. was not last october october before yeah, so maybe two years ago. <clears throat> and then two nighttime sightings <coughs> down this trail. <coughs> the allergies are bad. I can feel it. My, it's my the pollen. Itching, itching. But anyway, a lot of Bigfoot activities, tree knocks, uh, you name it. And we went down this trail at night to another creek. <clears throat> and a bunch of us were there. It was dry like this, and they did some rock clacks. That's where I was eating some Doritos. I'm crunching. They go, Charlie, stop crunching. And then down the trail, you hear three rock clocks back. Like, <laughs> three replied to our three rock clocks. Like, three in the morning. <laughs> I don't know if it was three, but it was early morning, you know, nobody around. Obvious three rock clocks back. It was great because everybody heard it. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. I feel like a turkey. We got a return knock. Don't do it. Return knock, did we? Here we have a few males of the species <laughs> participating in what is known commonly as chewing the fat. This is pretty back there, I have my
I can't wait to find my first footprint. Well, you're in the right place. Yeah. It's just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. Because whales emit infrasound, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So whales, if you think Bigfoot's do. Yeah. yeah. Just speaker roll. interesting you know it's different sometimes you try different things some of that sounded like growls almost yeah. right did you hear like kind of like a growl it's kind of odd i've never heard that before yeah i think we've had some reactions to it we're going to cross this here I think it might be better. So we, we've had success doing rock clacks, just like tree knocks. It, it's so good. Maybe do a couple more, I think. Yeah. We could do some more. That's a, that's a really good clack sound. Yeah, it's very good. Let me yeah, do the, face me so I can see what you're doing. We have to study your technique. <laughs> She knows there's a camera. I swear she knows the camera's on. Okay, three knocks coming up. All right. That rock didn't last long. There's more of them. Oh, I was thinking we're going to get some, some people criticize that we broke a rock. Because you're not supposed to move the rocks, which is true, I guess, for the, the wildlife and such. But the rock you moved was already on top, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you put it back where you found it, right? Well, I covered up the rock we broke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. It was sitting right next to it there. <laughs> Down there. 
one. Somebody, right back there. It's a really little one. Somebody probably did it. Probably oh, there's a snake. Yeah? Where? Where? No. Where? On that rock there. It's a little one. Yeah. It's a little snake. Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's I see it. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, it is. Wow, it's a small puppy head, I think. I think it is. <coughs> <coughs> Boy, that's a small little critter. I mean, you could so easily yeah. have those in the. I know. She's oblivious to it. <laughs> How did it get out there? I don't know. <laughs> it's a tiny little guy. So we're walking back here, <clears throat> off trail. There's a small rock stack. But again, if we are here, people could have been here. So again, people could have been here. I'm not saying this is Bigfoot, but definitely something stacked those two rocks. No, there's another one. Oh. So, this is a small cave. Can dogs get poison ivy? Or are they kind of like allergic to it? I don't, I don't know. I, yeah, a third of people aren't allergic to it. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to find out if you are soon. Yeah. Look at oil going right in there. Something? Looking oh, for it. Oh yeah, some animal tracks. Yeah. That one on the left looks a little bearish or something. You smell that? Yeah, I do. What is that? That's not my foot. You smell like a musky? No. <laughs> That's royal. I would smell that if we're walking in. Yeah, like a musky smell. Yeah. Do you guys smell that? Well, this is neat, huh? So some of the kids sleep in here. You can, you can make it work. You can make it work. Get out of the rain. Get out of the weather. Have a little fire in the front. Oh yeah. It almost looks like it's been chiseled out. Well, you this has this is on the ceiling. That would be a great picture. Of, this is oh, this uh, breakdown is of whiskey. But this is breakdown. It's going to continue. You can see here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look, I would no, not. It's, it's, it's pretty solid now. But at some point, this is mm -hmm. all of this has come down. There's a little pillar in the middle, which is Sorry. good. But uh, over time, it's the frost action where water gets in here and then the frost. Frost has enormous pressure. Frost can exert, I don't know what it is. I saw the number once. It's like 1,400 pounds per square inch wow. or something. Uh, ice is what breaks up the rocks. Huh. Ice can crack things. Ice is what does it. So this is the erosion here. These are going to crack. You get some a moisture in there, way in there, then it freezes. It just cracks that geologist will tell me that so don't camp under here well <laughs> what you do is you check it first and yeah. kind of see how stable it appears and mm -hmm. if you see a lot of loose rocks down here oh. you might not want to do that it looks like, like an axe head yeah, look at that that's sharp this is lime is this limestone though i don't know if they would would they use this material cut with it's limestone it's a yeah 
it's not hard. It's not like it's not hard enough to or, or use as a tool. Or flint or something. Yeah. Let me get a it, picture it, real quick. You guys want to sit up here? It, it, it can be a tool for a short term, Mikey. That, oh, that's true. You know, for right. You, let's let's say you, you you just did you, you know you need a chicken or something. Yeah, you want to get in there? I'm I mean, it makes sense. It's, 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 okay. Use it for until it breaks and gets dull. Um, yeah, you know, right. Then, yeah, here and then get another one. Cause there's plenty here. So yeah, actually, and this is a place where you find tools if people. Um, bear, called bear something, uh, I think. Bear flowers or bear? Is it old? It looks like it's... No, it's actually it's just starting to bloom. Oh, is it? If I'm correct, they use it for women in childbirth. Wow. There's more of it. Oh, it's everywhere. Overhang or cave in there. Yeah. Oh, and down there too, there's more. There's a down there. Yeah. Bit of a creek down there too. Oh, there's the creek. Slippy. This is a little doggy. How is he? Come on, come this way. We are definitely off the beaten path, but it's the only way. something up over here if you look up the stream there's some kind of a cave something it's hard to know what that is until we if we can venture over there this, this is not for the faint of heart i'm going to kind of just see how see this is what we're going to find this is the place look out with you look out with you this is this is dangerous this is not what we want be careful guys. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is tricky. 
I think we should try an alternate route. Well, it's it's uh it's either going downstream, finding something down here, <coughs> and up. Uh, let's see where they are. I don't know what their plan or is. Or we could go up. I suppose. It looks like it might be a little bit easier to cross up there, possibly. This is going to be treacherous I if that bark uh, uh, comes off. Most people aren't good with the balance to do this. Yeah. My balance in my day, I would have done this without a hesitation, but I'm not as good as I used to be. Yeah, I'm a little worried about the bark coming off and is yes. slipping. So that cave isn't much. That cave is kind of like what we saw earlier, but we might need to get over to that one. I see a level area there, oh, so if we can okay. kind of get around yeah, this way. Yeah, if, if you can, we, we might have to do that, and then, because the trail is right up there. Right, oh. just across the hill. Oh, okay. Right. This isn't too bad, just if it. we can get over these trees, oh. or under them. Oh. I think... God, sorry, I can't stand spiders. Ah. I think right there. Actually, they terrify me. You know what? There's a good spot here. Yeah. Come this way. Oh, Charlie, yeah. come down here. And we can get this we can get through here. Yeah, this is the place to go. A whiskey will show the way. Alright. Oh, is he? Spiders. Awful. Oh. oh, Royal's already over there. Oh, goodness, I am picturing spiders in my hair. Okay. Yeah, this is relatively flat from this point. <laughs> oh, there. Whiskey got it. There we go. Sure is pretty. that stream you'll see that cave there. Yeah. That's what we saw from the trail. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. This one? Yeah. So the trail's right above me. Right there. You see it? Okay. I can see where those trees are There's down. There's a nice cave over here, too. Well, that's right below where the tree... You want to go the... look? That's where the tree came down. Oh. oh. But yeah, we can go you over there. look at that cave? We can, absolutely. We can look at all of these. Okay. Oh, I think that is. Oh, that was the right up here. Yeah, oh. that looks like it was the first hurdle. Yeah, I think so. We did That's a ledge of the Right. Sleeping bag and a sleeping mat, but no person. <laughs> huh, really? Is there really? Yeah. Just here for one day. Are you sure, there's, a, you sure there's nobody sleep? in the sleeping bag? No, it looks pretty flat. Look how it's been here a bit. Wow. Sleeping mat, yeah. sleeping bag. What the heck? Somebody was out here. Look out, what's your head here? Big foot took Oh, yeah, your head here. There. Yeah. yeah. There's nobody yeah. in there. Yeah. Somebody was sleeping yeah, yeah. under there. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, there you go. There's. Could be a missing person. Right. Where's, where's the lady when you need them? So why would they leave their bag in that? Because they thought they were going to go down there and come back, and they never came back. You know, like us. Mm. Is it old? It's been a been a while. Not not this spring. <laughs> Leaves are on it from falling from the fall. So it's at least Any last, last fall. Any bones in there? Look for some bones. No, you. It's, it's I think it's empty. Fun. It's empty. 
Oh, there's squirrels or something have been at it. Yeah, that's why it did spin there a while. Yeah. Mice. Yeah. It's fabric, it's mice and birds and who knows but what. Think thing. about that though, um, why would you leave a deer? Why are you? I only know a couple reasons. <laughs> Like you would take your gear back out. they're not good. A little cave over there. This is such a remote place to sleep, though. One, it's like one person, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, if there was more than one, the other was down there, and they took this stuff. This place is, uh, that's all. I mean, that could be a crime scene. Let's not go there. Because <laughs> even if it is, we just destroyed it. It is a great place to camp. Yeah, you, you, you just got your fingerprints on it. Great. Right. I know. It's a great DNA. It's for water, right? It's got yeah. protection. See, there's yeah. another one right over there on that ridge. There's another one like this over there. So is there any fire? There, Did you notice there. if there were any charred wood? I don't see any. So that one over there is probably just as big. Right. No, you guys are cheating. I'm looking at your gear. Oh. Well, I need one. Awesome, really. yeah. And the first aid people are who now, just in case. <laughs> the first aid? Yeah, the first aid people. Oh, first aid, yeah. Just in case. Just in case. We went off road. We cut through that. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Yeah, it was sketchy. No, we probably got poison ivy. Chiggers. Chiggers, kicks, uh, copperhead. We saw copperhead. Did you? Yep, a little one, a little tiny one. Oh, no, it was an anaconda. Look at this. Yeah. Is it on? It is. Actually, say hi. Hi. Oh, there's two. Hi. Yeah. Sweet. You guys are ready to find a Bigfoot. Yes, we You better miss it last time. We're ready this time. Not, okay, last time you didn't have the cameras. We actually sat here moments before our sighting and said, you know, we really need to get a, a GoPro. You know? And then had the sighting. You know? and, ready. and the stickers. So, yeah. so the Bigfoot knows you're looking for them. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good. One, two, three. 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 Three fly. Three fly. Three fly total. Three fly total. Lisa. Lisa. Criminal law, criminal law, criminal law, Lisa. No, 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 not a Lisa. No, 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 not a Lisa. Meeny, meeny, this. 
Tasmanian Wadawa. 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 Tasmanian
All right. Well, we tried. <laughs> Let's take our picture. <laughs> What's that? Let Jim try. Oh, yeah, Jim. Jim's got the best one. Go ahead, Jim. Might as well try this. <laughs> it's a pending pad. All right, Jim, go ahead. Big food value. We know you are here. <laughs> and I just want to, just the largest home run knock to stuff. Wow. Now, hey, I, nice job, Jim. I will tell you this when I was filming with Larry the Cable Guy, and Larry the Cable Guy did um, the Ricola, remember that commercial? We got a, we got a, um, a howl back. From when he did that crazy call, a howl came back immediately, daytime. And this is a great story, real quick. He thought it was a production crew, right? And I asked the production crew, did you guys do that? No, we didn't do that. He's such a skeptic, he thinks we did that. After the show was over and everything on online, Larry, I saw where he replied it was the production crew. And I was mad because I don't want to be hoaxed. I contacted the the production guy. I said, just tell me, did you do it? That's okay if you did. I don't want to keep defending the how. If you did it, I don't want to defend it. He goes, no, we didn't do it. He was such a skeptic. He thinks we did the how. We did not make that how. Doing something crazy like that. So you never know. Oh, Anybody else? All right, one more. Going once. One more, one more. We need one Come more. On, going twice. Great, Mikey, great. We need one more. We need one more. You want me to just be in it and help out? Yes. Come on. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Come on, Charles. All right, three's good. I'll go last. You go last? Okay, ladies first. Alana, you want to go again? No. You got this, babe. Oh, no, I'm nervous. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Lori Wade. Um, anyway, I can talk to anyone one-on-one. -on -one. I can stand here and casually talk to you, but this is not as natural to me. I have been doing this for about a year. Um, Smoky Mountain Bigfoot Festival in Gatlinburg last year, there was about 2,500 people. And I literally, I think I stared at the person in the front row because I thought, oh my God, you know, there's a lot of people out here, but. Um, Basically, as Charlie said, I met him a long time ago. I started in the BFRO in 2013. My first expedition was in Kentucky, and I actually got to the expedition. It was run by Ronnie Powell, and I got to the expedition, and I had told my husband at the time, I didn't see anyone. We were at a state park, and I set up my tent. I had my car loaded down like I was going to live there for a month. I have no idea why I brought so much stuff, but I didn't see anyone other than tents. And we were going to start at 6 p.m. at a certain campsite. And I called my husband. I said, oh my God, what if I, what am I doing? Why am I here? What if I'm here with a bunch of crazy people? 
And he's like, oh my Lord, I shouldn't have let you go. You just need to come home. Just pack up and go home. I'm like, no, we spent $300 on this. I can't, you know, I can't come home. So I said, let me just stay tonight and we'll see what happens. Well, at six o'clock it started and by 6.30, I was asking when the next one was. I loved it and I wanted to go. And I started this path of going to everyone that I could go to. Um, kept doing that, going all over the country, everywhere I could go. And then I became an investigator in 2016. Came to Charlie's expedition and saw, the first time I ever saw a Bigfoot was here on that, on that trail that we were on last night. And um, that was eight years ago. And uh, Mark Ogilvy was with me and then another guy named Jeff Stefani. And they didn't see it, but we had literally walked down the trail we stopped and we didn't want to walk any further because we were being lazy. And I said, let's just all look in a different direction. Charlie was further on down the trail. So I turned around and I literally just looked and I thought, which one of these guys got behind me? And I'm like, who is that? What is that? Oh my God. Because I mean, I realized it was this cone shaped thing walking down the trail and it stopped on a dime, ran down the ravine, all the acorns and everything were falling off the trees on that side. The coyotes were going wild in the ravine. The ravine, I said it. <laughs> Jeff Carpenter says ravine. Uh, so we were so excited. We had it all on audio, but it took us 20 minutes to realize that we needed to radio Charlie and tell him what happened. And um, what was it, Charlie? Six, about 60 yards away is how far it was. I have no doubt what I saw. It was a pretty full moon. I did not see the face. The moon was behind it, but boy, talk about setting you off to do even more. I couldn't wait to get back. So I didn't get to drink all day that day. Then I had to build filters. And by that afternoon, after we hiked about five miles, I was beyond grumpy and my head was pounding and I just wasn't thinking clearly. It taught me how to value of water. So you see these on TV, you might have these. Life's yeah. Okay. Forgive me, whoever. Uh, a lot of people like these. A lot of survival people like these. It's kind of a one-time deal. It's not something you like hang out with you all the time and carry with you and use four or five times and put back up. Look some of the research up. Uh, if you're in the field for a couple of days, I think you'll be fine. But what happens if they freeze or have bacteria inside of them? They're done. Cut one open. It looks like hair. It has bacteria and mold will grow inside of them. You want to use it one time? Fine. I would, I would go a different direction. Uh, I think they sell them. And overseas and things, I think it's probably more useful than what I've tried to use. This is a Sawyer squeeze. You can put this in your pocket. I've used these hundreds of times. You can buy them for like 20 bucks at Walmart. And I don't have a water bottle with me, but you just take a water bottle, you fill it up with water, and put this on top of it, and it'll squeeze the water bottle. Complex stuff. I mean, you can use those, but I wouldn't use them more than a day or two. These, you have a pump system where you can back, back uh, clean out the system itself. And they come with like a bag that you can like put water in or all this. But before I ever done that, I'd strain that with something. Um, I mean, just taking this and taking, scooping water up and then, then pouring it through, you know, put this over top of it pour my dirty water inside there and then pour that into a bottle and then use this system. That kind of takes out the lumps and the tadpoles and all that fun <laughs> stuff. Um, what I use is what's called a grail. And I think it's the greatest thing out there. Some people don't like it, some people do. I've used them multiple times. They're about a hundred bucks. I think you do 300 and something times with it. This is an outer filter, which is sold by Campcraft right down the road, but that's a lot of people fill A lot of people buy bags and stuff for them. I just have, this is canvas. You pour water through this, you can hang it up, pour it, and let it drip through the bottom into a, into a container, preferably, you know, one that you have. And then you put it in here. If you don't have this, they say you can do like, Portage on this stuff, but don't please don't try that. But uh, I mean, you can take mud water that you have and you stick it in this, you put this on top of it, and it's a compression. And what it does is it does a compression and it pushes that water through this bottom filter 
which is this filter here. And you can look them up online. I usually carry, if I'm really gonna go mm. in the woods, and I kind of keep myself light. Um, we used to determine where the streams were. I filled this up with water, and then I carry this with me, and I know I near water, and I just use that. And it takes you a minute to push these things through. But... Invented the beep. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, it can't be worse than Alana's uh, car. Jeez. Uh, Here, it's this is it. There you go. Yeah. Okay. She's got a it's kind of the same as the other one, but. Like a cool Raptor Raptor. Four, and man, if you don't put that freaking seatbelt on, it just it doesn't beep. It doesn't get block. out there. It goes from beep, beep, beep to. All right. <laughs> what are you growling at? What? What is she here? Huh? Whiskey, like, hears something already growling. Hey, Whiskey. What are you growling at? What? This is pretty squatchy back here, isn't it? And then bam, right out. Just do one whoop and then out. What? Keep whistling. Again? Yeah. I think that's smart. Yeah. 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 Yep. And then we got in the area where you saw. scared me. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to do that. It made me jump. You hear that? No, what's interesting is that broken tree that's what's moving right here. See it? Yeah, I think it's going to fall because it's making noise. Hear it? It's eventually going to fall there. Is it that one? Or is it the 
one beside it. This is a broken one. This broken one's going to come loose at some point. Hear it? <laughs> Another one. Was that behind us? Yeah. Yeah. It's not like a little yeah. mouse. Yeah. Whoop. Whoop. Can't do it. That was pretty close though. Got him to stand by it. Let's let's walk away. Break off. One of us like a pull key. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, no, I won't do that to you. Can okay, three. You? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, go ahead. Ready? Yep. I could smell the cedar. You smell the cedar? Yeah. It came off. Want to sniff? <laughs> that was powerful. Yeah, you hit that last one, you literally moved the whole tree. So it's like... that's, that's sending a very clear message. <laughs> that's intimidation right there. I'm surprised you didn't break that. It's already, it wouldn't matter, but those are good. Let's listen, see if we hear some. All right. So what we're doing right now on this trail, it's um, 1.21 a.m. and we're doing the inch what's known as the inchworm so we walk we walked charlie and i walked so far down the trail um all we've got is did you hear that there's what? movement over there anyway a red light and a bat and a camera and um the inchworm is oh there's movement over there too we walk so far and then there's Jim and Mark that are walking behind us, who you can probably hear on the camera right now. They're going to meet up with us at this point, then they're going to walk forward and then we'll give them a couple of minutes, maybe three or four minutes, and then we'll do the same. We'll walk behind them, they'll stop, we'll meet, and then we'll pass them. That's the inchworm effect. We'll just keep doing that over and over until we feel like we're done. If there's something happening, great. If not, we'll just... We'll call it, but we'll assess it at every stop. So here they are. Here they come. Hey guys. So let's try a couple knocks here. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. That's right. where we pretty much were. This was it. Which is not far. That's it. You would totally think. Let's it find a tree. It my mind. That yeah, the sound. Terrible. The sound just dampens. Is there a tree nearby though? 
we might have to go further because there's no tree really. Let's see if they can hear. Let's go a little, little further because there's no tree here. You want us to stay? Uh, come with us and then, then we'll split up. Let's find a tree first. Did you guys, did you smell the cucumbers? Yes. So Lindsay mentioned the, that real quick with the with the about the copperheads. So the copperheads, if you smell uh, a strong odor of cucumbers, it's a good indication that there's a copperhead on the a copperhead snake, poisonous snake on the trail. They secrete um, an odor serum that smells like cucumbers to us when they feel threatened. So generally. There's a whip oil. If there's one close by and you smell cucumbers, that's the best indication you're ever going to get. So just be mindful of that. And I, the road is warm. The, wa the road is warm, so check the road, the trail, because quite often they'll um, they'll just hang out on the trail and absorb the heat that's coming up through the asphalt. Or this is a gravel road. Gravel road, road yeah. It's generally warmer than the damp grass. So you've got to be careful. Let's find a tree to do some tree knocks. There's snakes in there. <laughs> There's no snakes in there. You don't smell cucumber, do you? No, nope. but it's not a definitive. I'll suck the poison out. Okay, that's good. All right, so now why don't you two go? We're gonna shut our lights off and you guys go. Okay, how long? Um, I don't know, give you five minutes and we'll catch you. Okay. So we're walking and we just heard movement over here. You see the moon through the, see the moon up there. See the moon? That's the moon through the trees. Okay.
something's over there, right? It's funny that she's looking that way too. Yeah. The same way you heard the knock, that return knock. She sees something over there, doesn't she? <laughs> So something's moving over there. in the woods and so I can't tell if it's a parcel of something you know all right keep keep your um therm on it yeah I'm gonna go grab my thermal okay, okay hold on. Lights in the truck are gonna go off here. Here, let's let these lights go off in a second. How many knocks, how many whoops? Um, so, it's a real loud whoop, like real loud, whoop, and, and then bam, right afterwards. Just do, just do one, the, the, the whoop and the knock. Okay, whenever you're ready.
I did hear some um, distant vocals. Yeah, coyotes or something. You heard coyotes? That's what it sounded like, but it was very faint. Yeah. We did, where we were, we did hear coyotes over there. Melissa just texted that coyotes are really close to camp. Yeah. Really? Yep. Hmm. Interesting. Can hear coyotes close to camp, but can't hear a wood knock. It's less than a rock Hold on, let's see. All right, come on. I'm gonna catch up to him. Can't see him. See if they see if they got anything back here. Anything? Oh yeah, we did. Yep. Can you do one earlier? Yep. We did three. Yep. One, three, one. We heard a single knock at 127. Yep. Then we just heard the three knocks at 157. Yeah. Yep. So we did three knocks and one knock actually in between those two. Okay, yeah. really? Yeah, but yeah, you're right on the money. Okay, yeah, that's the only two we heard. One. Well, the one we did three, we were literally just right down there. Right. So I, yeah, we heard How, far, how far were you compared to where you guys were earlier when we did our three? Yeah, a little bit further. Not much further. Yeah. It's just weird that you didn't hear ours earlier, but we just heard yours just fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. It's basically that hill. Yeah. It's blocking it, I guess, somewhere. Barred owls all stirred up yeah. a little bit ago. 